Rosie, my channel has been terminated. Can you help me get my channel back? Let's talk about it in 2023 because this is the third person that's contacted me since the new year, having lost their channel and now they want it back. Let's talk about will it come back and some things that you might want to think about going into 2023 particularly if you are a YouTube creator. And welcome in everybody. If you're not a subscriber, please take a minute to subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. It's a fun variety, everything from vintage audio to metal detecting to travel. I'm going to Vegas this week, so I want you guys to be a part of the fun. Yes, for the third time in 2023, I've gotten a uh, Gmail from somebody. Uh, three people actually that have had their channels terminated one a while ago one within the last week another one within the last couple days and there seems to be some type of misunderstanding about youtube's terms and conditions particularly in 2023 can you get your youtube channel back well stay tuned i'm going to talk about it at the end but in the meantime right now i want to talk about the importance of taking stock of your situation on youtube i had my channel terminated four times this channel and each and every time i was able to bring this channel back the original january 4th 2013 channel um that probably means I was stupid four times, but it means four times YouTube had to reverse decisions they made about strikes on my channel. And for whatever the way the wind was blowing and however good it was, fortune smiled on me, right? Each and every time I was able to have my original channel restored. Well, to my thinking on YouTube and from what I know, I think it's unprecedented in the history of YouTube to have a terminated channel brought back four times and be totally compliant and not an outlaw channel. But it caused me in 2019 to really think about everything that I was doing on YouTube and the content that I was creating. And I really pulled back. I removed over 6,000 videos and 10 million views on a channel today that would be closing in on 25 million views here on YouTube. I had to remove 10 million of those views to be compliant. Yeah, was it painful? But it's keeping in the spirit of what YouTube's about, for me, it was broadcast your life. Make sure you're here every day. And I think too many times we have a sense that we're untouchable on YouTube. And it causes us to make greater and greater risks. And we may, in the case of this one gal, and I didn't even follow her channel, but I started looking at some of the clip channel stuff that was about her. And I was like, oh, holy smokes, man, this is really, uh, you, you survived this long? <laughs> but I'm thinking to myself, wow. That's really wild. But nowadays, YouTube's really cracking down because um, they don't want certain content. They don't want to have to worry about creators and the content that they could put out that could be monetized and cause problems with the advertisers. And let's face it, advertisers are the ones that drive and steer this bus, okay? And, uh, you know, if they get complaints and you get a lot of um, uh, feedback and... Uh, flagging and stuff like that and uh, people complaining and maybe advertisers get wind of it and things like that it becomes much more difficult to think about you as being an asset on the channel despite what you may think you're doing within your little bit of a zone there and you're getting your views you're happy uh, but it may not be what YouTube's advertisers are looking for so it may not be a bad idea to take stock in 2023 because it looks like lightning bolts are hitting everywhere and people that they thought were untouchable are uh, being nailed these days, demonetized and also uh, being kicked off the, of the uh, platform. So in my, in my opinion, you, YouTube wants dependability. They don't want anybody that could be perceived as a loose cannon. In other words, you don't know what kind of content they're going to be, who they're going to be. Uh, bashing next or whatever or um, uh, what they're going to be doing next on a live stream right it makes their hair stand on end that the advertisers uh, 
uh, conferences. What are they going to hear? I, I saw our video, right? Uh, we're the Happy Sense uh, Candle Company, and somebody's getting a hell beaten out of them on a live stream. That's not like that. What we want to convey and promote. So you'll understand that that over time the systems are getting better and better. The other thing that I want to talk about is people not understanding terms and conditions of YouTube because it's uh, one gal got terminated immediately set about to set up another channel went live and uh, has still has no concept of the, of the debts against the terms of YouTube because you've not taken your punishment you've not been off of the platform for a week and that's the intention of that so to come back is it like a slap in the face to YouTube and now you've become a loose cannon on deck so it's going to be harder and harder to bring the channel back because they know by your actions alone that you do not understand nor are you willing to abide by youtube's terms and conditions and that's going to be very problematic it's going to be very problematic for bringing you back particularly if you're one of those people that was taken out without even a strike right? you wake up in the morning your channels terminate oh i didn't even have i didn't even have any strikes i only had one strike how can they do that they can do whatever they want one of the basic terms and conditions of YouTube is we can remove any channel at any time for any reason that we deem appropriate. Go fight that in court. <laughs> okay, that's pretty pretty much blanket. It's like, we got the platform, we can do whatever the heck we want to do. So my advice is to take a minute and think about the content you're putting up. Is it original content? Is it content that's hooking into somebody just continuously day in and day out? Are you really adding any new value to the proper prop to the proposition of YouTube? Or is it is it simply a derivative channel that lives on others? Hey, you know, that's fine. You do what you want to do. Hey, you know. I've been known to cock in the ear and then listen once in a while. But I'm saying YouTube, I can tell, is trying to push more and more towards the creation of uh, original content and all that. and uh, Because it makes that easier for the advertisers, I think, doing the placements on the videos and things, that there's less to worry about. So as far as bringing a channel back, I, I just tell people, look, are you sure you're going to be, number one, are you sure you're going to be able to handle it? Suppose you got your channel back. Some people in the past have gotten a channel back. They told me, oh, Rosie, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm, I'm a born again YouTuber. I'll never be bad again. And then within two months, they're back doing the same crap. And then the channel gets taken out again. It ain't coming back. In other words, they take the medicine for a week or two weeks, but you can't change your basic nature. Okay. And YouTube knows that. Right, that you can only swim upstream so long before you just give in to temptation and go on. So they're looking to remove people like that. Okay. But what you can do if you think that, yeah, I do definitely want to make a change. I want to go in a new direction, something totally new. Yeah. Then if I were you and I was really going to stick to that pledge and I would continue to appeal through the original link that says appeal here. And uh, you never know. You could wake up one day and have your channel back. But are you going to run it the right way? That's the issue. There's no magic here. There's no special words I can say. But I do wish everybody the best. And take time to read the terms of 2023. They're changing all the time. Please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit the bell for all notifications. And in closing, thank you everybody for taking time to watch. And good luck to all of you.